Hello friends, welcome to Coding Garden with CJ. In this video, we're going to build a to-do app with Vue.js from scratch. So let's get started. I have here a to-do list of all the things we need to do to build the to-do app. Uh, so the first thing is to create an index.html file. So right in here, I'm just going to create a new file. We'll call this index.html. I'm going to generate a basic HTML template. And now we need to add Vue.js. So for that, I'm going to go to the browser. I'm going to go to Vue.js.org. Now, if you go into there getting started, they have uh, a few different ways to get started. I'm just going to include the script that they have there. I'm going to copy it. And then right at the bottom of my body, I'm going to add that script there. Cool. Let's look at our readme. Done with that. And we have added Vue.js. The next thing is to create a view instance in app.js. So in this file, Right below where we brought in Vue.js, I'm going to add another script source, and this is just going to be app.js. And then I am going to create that file, app.js. OK. Inside of here, I'm going to create a view instance. So I'm going to store it in a variable. You don't always have to, but I will. And we'll say new view, pass in an object. The first thing we need to put on this object is the L property. And this stands for element. And we're going to tell it ID app. So basically, we're telling Vue.js where we want it to live on the page. And we're saying the element that has ID app. So now, in our HTML, we need to actually create that. So I'm going to create a main. And on this, I'm going to give it ID app. Now, these two things link up. So I have an element. It has ID app. And for Vue, I'm telling it that the element I want it to live on is ID app. So that's where my Vue app is going to live. Let's see what's next. Show a message from view, from the view instance on the page. So the way a Vue.js app works is you have your data. And you can think of your data as essentially anything associated with your application that you want to show on the page. So for instance, if I had a title that says, hello, coding garden, this is the data for my page. And now I want to show this title on the page. So for that, we can use handlebar syntax. So I'm going to throw in, say, like an h3. Right there, I'll say title. And whenever Vue.js sees these handlebars, it knows that whatever is inside of it is something on data or some expression that needs to be evaluated. So this title exactly links up with the title on our data. So when I open up this app in the browser, we should see Hello Coding Garden. So let's do that. I can copy the full path. And over here in Chrome, just put that in. And there's our page. It says Hello Coding Garden. Awesome. Now, I'm just going to add some basic styles. Um, I have this easy CSS, CSS that I created. You just throw in the URL https colon slash slash easy dash CSS dot now dot sh. And that will give you some basic styling like that, just so we don't have like a totally ugly app to begin with. Cool. So we're seeing kind of the, the, the cool things that you can do with Vue.js. That's as simple as that. But let's go even further. All right, so essentially, we're going to be building a to-do app. So the first thing we need is a new to-do form. So for that, we'll just write it in the HTML. So we need a form. And then a form is going to have a label. And the label will be for new to-do. And the label will say new to-do. Then below the label, we need an input. Uh, type is text. The name is going to be new to-do. And we'll give it an ID of new to-do. And then we need a button to add the to-do. So we'll add a button. The type will be submit, because when they click this button, we want the form to submit. And the button will just say add. OK. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. So we've got a basic form. All right, next step is to call a function when the form is submitted. So to do this with uh, Vue.js, on our form, we can do at submit. And basically, this is Vue's way of saying, when this form is submitted, we can call some function. So I'm going to say at submit equals add to do. And I will actually create a function called add to do, so this will actually link up. One thing I will do is just add dot prevent. This is built into Vue.js. And if you're familiar with just regular plain old DOM manipulation, typically when a form is submitted, you have to prevent the default action. By adding dot prevent, Vue.js does that for us. OK. So this says, when the form is submitted, call the function named add to do. So we need to actually create that function. So on our view instance, you can create what are called methods. Methods is an object. And you can put any function on methods and call that from inside of your template. So on here, I'm going to create a function called add to do. 
And for now, I'm just going to log out and say form submitted. OK. And just like that, I'll open up the developer tools. Let's clear that out. Let's make sure you can see it. OK. So if I say hello world and I click the add button, the form is submitted and our add to do function is getting called. Very good. All right. Next step, create a string property on our data to store the user input. Now, when you're building a Vue.js application, you essentially want to think of everything in your app in terms of data. And the way we're going to do this is essentially whatever the user types into the input box, we're going to store that on data. So on data, let's create a property called new to do. And we're going to initialize that to just an empty string. And the idea is, as the user types into the input box, we'll update this under the hood to be the value that they're typing in the input box. And Vue has a built-in way to do that. So on this input, we can use v-model. And then inside of that, we say new to do. Now this right here, v-model new to do, this exactly links up with new to do on our data right here. So the fact that we're saying vModel, whatever goes in inside of the double quotes, that is referencing something on our data. And so now, as the user is typing into the input box, this is automatically getting updated under the hood. And just to see that in, in action, we can throw, let's say we'll do like an H4 right here, and then we'll just put new to do. So just like uh, we're rendering the title on the page, now we're telling Vue to render the value of new to do on the page as well. So I'll go over here and refresh the page. Um, Let's make sure I called it new. Oh, I need to capitalize the T in to do. So you'll notice I got an error in the console. It was saying property or method new to do is not defined on the instance, but referenced during render. So when it says referenced during render, that means your template is trying to use something called new to do. So we're trying to use it there and we're trying to use it there. But on my data, I didn't capitalize the T, so it didn't know where to find it. So let me capitalize the T, refresh the page. The errors go away. Great. But what I wanted to show was as we type into this input box, we should see the latest value of new to do displayed right below the form. So let's watch it happen. Hello world. And you'll notice as I type, it's automatically getting updated and we're representing the latest value on the page below. Cool. But this isn't the functionality we want for our to do app. I was just demonstrating how that's actually getting updated under the hood. So let's go back to our to do list. Um, so we created that property on our data. Um, and we watched it change as we typed in the input, which is great. Now, let's log that user input when the form is submitted. So right now in our submit function, or in our add to do function, we're just saying form submitted. But let's actually log the value of new to do. Now, the way you do this inside of methods is by uh, using this. This refers to the instance, and we can access any of our methods or any of our properties from data inside of here. So I can do this dot new to do, and this is referencing the internal value of new to do. So now I'll refresh the page over here. And when I say learn Vue.js and click add, that gets logged to the console because this is bound to new to do. And then when we click add to do, we're logging that value to the console. So everything's working wonderfully. All right. Um, next thing is create an array property on our data for the to-dos. So as I mentioned, we want to think about our application in terms of the data. So for a to-do app, the list of to-dos can be represented as an array. So we're going to add that to our data and just call it to-dos and set it to an array. And so now all of the to-dos that, um, that we add will get pushed into this array and then we'll show them on the page. So uh, we created the array property. Now we need to push that to do into the do's, to do's array with a done property of false. So here's what I'm going to do. Instead of just logging out this dot new to do, I'm going to say this dot to do's dot push. Now we could just push in new to do, but I actually want to push in an object with a few properties on it. So first, let's say like the uh, title of the to do is going to be uh, this dot new to do. And then we'll also give it a property of done and set that to false because later on we want to be able to mark to-dos as either done or not done. So initially when you create a new to-do, done is false and it has a title which is the value that was in the input box. Okay, so we're pushing that into the array. 
Now we actually want to show those to-dos on the page, and we're going to show them in a list. So in the HTML, right below the form, let's create an unordered list, and then we'll create some list items. Now essentially, I want to create a new list item for every value inside of this array. So let's do that. For this, we're going to use the built-in directive called v4. And the way this works is you say for item in array of items. So the array of items here is to-dos. So this uh, property on the right-hand side of in is something referenced on our data. So to-dos exactly links up with to-dos on our data. So we're saying we want to repeat over that array. And then the value to do here, we could give this any name, but basically this is the name that's going to be given to each value inside of the array on the right-hand side. Okay, so now inside of here, if I just want to display the title, I could use handlebars and say to do dot title. And just like that, we should be able to see the list of to do's below. Let's close our console, say learn Vue.js, click add, and now we see it in the list. Or if I say learn JavaScript, JavaScript, we see it in the list. Awesome. Uh, one thing I want to do is clear out the form. Do I have that in my to-do list? No, I don't. So show the to-dos in a list. We are doing that. But to clear out the form is pretty simple. So if you remember, new to-do is bound to our input using the model. So after we add the to-do, if I just say this.new to-do equals the empty string, that will essentially clear out the input box because it's bound using the model. So setting that to the empty string will set the current value of the input to be nothing and it'll clear it out. So now when we add something, so I'll say like learn Vue.js, it clears out the form. Pretty cool. All right, what's next? Check done on a to-do to mark it as done. So right now we're just displaying the title. Let's also display the a, a checkbox next to each item. This is my break timer. Let's take a quick break, take a stretch, look away from the screen, take a drink of water if you have some near you, and we will finish this to-do app. All right, so now instead of just showing the title, let's also show a checkbox. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the title in a span like this, and uh, right before it, I'm going to do an input type of checkbox. And essentially, to tell this checkbox whether it's checked or not, we want to say checked equals to do dot done. Because if to do dot done is true, then this should be checked. And if to do dot done is false, it should not be checked. Now, if I want checked to actually look at the real value of todo.done, I have to bind it. And to bind it, you simply just use a colon like that. So now if I save this and we say learn Vue.js and click add, I have this checkbox and now it is bound. So when I check it, it should be setting the to-do as done. Now let's, let's make sure that's actually working. So this next thing I want to do is show a line through the to-do te through the to-do text if it is done. And for that, we can use a style binding. Um, and actually, we'll, we'll use a class binding. So here's what I want to do. I'm just going to create a basic class up here. We'll call this class done. And the done class will just have a text decoration of line through. So if something has done on it, you should see a line through it. So here's what we can do. On this span, I can bind the class using that binding syntax and say class equals, you give it an object, the properties are going to be the classes that you want to apply. So I want to apply the done class when to do dot done is true. And just like that, that'll automatically apply the class. So if to do dot done is true, apply the done class. If to do dot done is false, the done class is not applied. If to do dot done is true, the box should be checked. If to do dot done is not true, the box should not be checked. So just like that, if I say learn Vue.js, click add, when I check the box, nothing happens. <laughs> um, oh, did I, ref I didn't refresh the page. Let's make sure that it's pulling in the latest styles. So if I say learn Vue.js, click add, it's not working. Let's figure out why. So 
if we look at the Oh, I, I know why. <laughs> so instead of uh, just binding checked, we should actually use vModel in this case. So just like before, this is like updating the value. This is not updating the value. So this should actually just be v-model because that will update the value under the hood, which will then update the class. That should work. So learn UJS add check line through. Awesome. So we can add multiple things. So like learn JavaScript. Uh, learn React, maybe, if you want to. Learn Angular, maybe, if you want to. <laughs> but now you can click check, and it will check it. And if you uncheck it, it will remove the line through. Very cool. So that's done. Right, next thing is add a button to delete the to-do. So right below the to-do, I'm just going to have a simple little button. It'll say remove. And when we click on this button, we'll say remove to do and we'll pass in the to do. So if you'll remember, this here is inside of the V4. So each to do is going to get its very own button. And when we click that specific button, it's going to pass that specific to do into the remove to do function. So we now need remove to do on our methods. So below add to do, I'll add remove to do. This takes in the to do. And first thing, we need to find it in the array. So I'm going to say uh, to do index is going to be this dot to do's dot index of to do. And then we'll just remove that index from the array. So just built into JavaScript, you can do splice. First parameter is the index that you want to remove. And then how many? We just want to remove one at that index. So just like that, we now should have a remove button that removes the to do from the list. So learn Vue.js, walk the dog, do the dishes. And we can still mark it as done. But then if we want to remove it, we just click the button, and it's gone. Very cool. All right, last thing I want to do is add a button to mark all of the to-dos as done. So basically, we'll just have a button, let's say, right above the list. And we'll just say, Mark all done. Well, let's just say all done. <laughs> and when we click it, so it's going to be very similar as, bef uh, as before. So when this thing is clicked, we'll say uh, all done. And so now we need a function on our methods called all done. And essentially, this just needs to iterate over the array of to-dos and mark each one as done. So for that, I'm just going to use a for each. So I'll say this.todos.forEach to-do. We'll say to-do.done equals true, just like that. Let's try it out. So I'll refresh over here. So now we have that all done button. So I can say learn Vue.js, learn JavaScript, save the world. <laughs> And now, if we click All Done, they all mark as true. And we can still remove them, we can still unmark them, and then remark them. Beautiful. We have a wonderful working Vue.js app. That is it for Build a Vue.js app. We did quite a few things, and we really demonstrated a lot of the different things that you can do in Vue.js, including uh, class binding and uh, user input and methods and vModel. There's a lot more to Vue.js. I'm going to create some more videos on some of the more in-depth features of Vue.js. But thanks for watching.